Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing Greeting for Son of Aquarius. And keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. And also go to my Etsy shop. I'm going to go buy something. It has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. So you can go check that out. Currently have a sale going on Aquarius. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. And if you like, donate to the channel. Feel free to do so. I do page donations here, Aquarius. I'm just kind of make sure these are all. I don't do reversals here. So, of course, before we get into your reading, let's say some prayers first. We have number 37 with the goddess Kali here. I know these are the same cards from yesterday, but they fell out again. So, just meant to be. Let's say some prayers first. Kali, beloved wearer of the Mall of Skulls and Marigolds, I bow to you. You are the way, the healing, the integrity, and the resolution. You are the blessing, both in chaos and in grace. I release fear and attachment to outcome. I become free and ready to receive and be held within your divine will. I choose to trust you unconditionally. I surrender all concerns to you now, and open to receive clear alignment with the highest path for resolution and release that brings spiritual benefit to all beings. And then we have number 29 with the goddess Kuan Yin over here. Oh. Dearest Kuan Yin, who sees from the highest perspective and knows the truths in all situations, please help me discern the best possible choices available to me. Bless me with the awareness that I need to make choices that support my deepest desires this lifetime. May my spiritual intentions be blessed and manifest. Help me see beyond illusion, beloved, into the deeper truths of matters. Sound your flute so fierce with love and compassion and clarity now. All right, Aquarius. So that's a prayer for you. Now let's see what Spirit's message is for you. Let's go through this. Make sure this is right. Let's see what spirits store for yourself. What are the messages here? What's happening for you? What's coming towards you? So what do you have for Aquarius? Okay, so we have a card falling out, Aquarius. We have the Prince of Wands, Aquarius. So we have some magic here. We have a lion, Aquarius. Now, I was just doing a Taurus reading that was talking about Hercules, and Hercules has like a lion skin here, so maybe you're connecting with that being here. We also have the unicorn symbolizing magic. We have the rainbow, which is kind of like magical to me here. We have the sun, all right, Aquarius. We have good things happening. It feels like a magical time, you know what I'm saying? We have the Queen of Wands. We have fire quite heavily. We have a lover. So we have two people being brought together here. We have love, Aquarius. We have the angels here. We have strength. All right. We have heavy. We have heavy Leo here. And look at all these lines. We have a lion here. We have a lion here. We have a lion here. All right. We have strength. Okay. Look at this. We had this. This. We actually had this moon phase right now. That just seen the sky. Um, but yeah, we have the infinity symbol here. Someone could have Leo placements. You, person around you. We have the Queen of Swords, which is your card. Here we have the Swan. We have the Eagle. Aquarius. We have the Butterfly. That's transformation. Look at that. Once again, we have the Rainbow in the brow background. Yeah, background. All right. I feel like your life is transforming here. And look at this. Your, your mind's opening to the stars. All right. That's like cosmic wisdom over there. Um... 
have the four of swords. Okay, we have the bears. The fish in the water. All right, um, we have the king of wands. We have the king and queen of wands here, Aquarius. We have like a like a couple here. Do you see that? There's two lines right here. The dragon. We have the nine of pentacles. All right, look at this. So we have a nice home in the background as well, Aquarius. Once again, we have this black cat. I feel like, Aquarius, there's nice... I feel like there's going to be a nice home for you. I feel like there's abundance like this. There's grapevines here. I think that's what those are or, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Nice things for you. Like I said, magical times. And then we also have that of a lover. We have king and queen of wands here with the lovers. All right, like I said, that's heavy fire. any fire sign, but particularly, especially with Leo, just because there's so many lines here. This person has heavy Leo in their chart. Alright, so what do we have? We have the Magician, yes, this is what's manifesting here, Aquarius. You see that? We have the Magician pointing the wand at the sky. Look, look at this, Aquarius. We have Lightning. Lightning Bolt. There's not... There, it's in the... I'm sorry, I get so excited sometimes that I can't speak right. <laughs> but also in that Taurus reading, we were talking about that of Zeus. Alright? Zeus is the lightning bolt. We have Yin and Yang here. We have this um, this staff, which is Hermes' staff here. Right on the magician. You see that there's two snakes there with the staff. And the Ten of Cups. This is your Ten of Cups manifesting for you, Aquarius. The rainbow. Chariot wanting to fall out as well, but not quite fully. We have the Hermit. Alright, Aquarius. And we have the World. Look at this, we have Turtles. We have, we have the Angel here as well. Once again, the Angel there, Angel here. Alright, we have the Moths, we have the Turtles, we have the World. We have the Eggs. We have the Tree, the World Tree. Oh, we have the White Raven as well. All right, Aquarius. But what if it feels like things are coming into alignment for you because we have everything here. And these turtles are for some reason kind of remind me of like Hawaii and things like that. All right, but look at this. You have things opening up for you. We have, a, we have the way being shown. Remember that in the prayers in the beginning of this reading? Show me the way, the highest path, Aquarius. So now you're being shown the highest path here, okay? And I feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming up for you. And you're manifesting here. A world card. World card. Magician. I feel like... Like I said, I feel like you're manifesting a lot of good opportunities. Can be manifesting something there, like something in the world there. For the entire world. Can be like traveling. There are Aquarius. We have the eggs as well. That could be like something about to hatch. Like new ideas about to hatch here. Aquarius. We also have the angel. Can be doing something with angels as well. Something pure that has angels involved in it. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Empress. All right, Aquarius. The full moon here. Full moon, Ace of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles, once again, with the swan here that you seem to be heavily connecting with. This just fell off my finger. We have a chariot. Okay, now it's popping out foldy. What's going to get balanced? We have the heart. We have the stars here. We have the cosmic. All right, cosmic chariot or cosmic being that you're connecting with, Aquarius. All right, that you're shooting out this power here into the world that you've manifested. You manifested something out into the world, Aquarius. All right, now it's coming towards you. With the Empress as well. See, Knight of Swords is rushing towards you. Especially with the lightning bolts as well. We have the hanged man. Or the hanged one. Anyway. Justice. Alright. 
peacocks being there. There's this justice in the situation. Eight of cups. You see that you're being, I feel like you're being led towards the way here, Aquarius. You see that with the star there, the rainbow, everything. This is justice in your way. We have the queen of pentacles, which could be that of earth. Queen of pentacles with the empress. Okay. Aquarius, we have the baby deer. The deer over there. It's connecting with all these animals over here. The earth, the nature, everything. The plants, the moon, all the elements there. Okay. You have the hierophant. You see that we have Taurus there. I feel like you have Taurus placement somewhere in your chart. Or maybe someone around you that has Taurus placement. But once again, look at that. You see that? The head, the crown, the stars. Okay. But this is something that's... This is heavily something that's being manifested for you. All right, and I'm seeing these symbols. We have Saturn, we have Venus over here. So you see that Venus? I don't know if you can see that with my camera quality right over here. And then we have Saturn. Okay, now we do have Saturn going into retrograde. We have Venus, which is the planet of like love, money, material possessions, all that sort of stuff here. And there is kind of like a lot of Venus elements with the Empress, Queen of Pentacles, uh, Justice, which could be Libra. Libra's connecting planet there is Venus there, but we have the star. Definitely feels like you, you see that? Like you're... You're the white bird again. You've put all this out here into the universe with your mind here. Yeah, as above, so below. And once again, we have the rainbow in the background. You have the six of cups. All right, Aquarius. We have the three of swords. Oh. Seven of wands. You see that? Look at that. There's that lion again. You see this here? The moon phases. All right, we have the dolphin. We have the buffalo, the horse, the wolf. Alright, but look at that. The wand pointing up towards the sky there. There's that strength maybe connecting with the god Hercules over there. Okay, and the ten of pentacles manifesting your ten of pentacles. Look at that. We have a bunch of roses here. And hearts. Roses for the heart chakra. Aquarius. So let's get some runes and charms for yourself. So we have number 10. 10 is completion. All right, we're on the next phase, the next cycle. Also, maybe the number 10 has a deeper meaning to you here, Aquarius. We have Best Bet. Okay. We have Hathor. We have Thoth. We have the Sun God Ra over here. All right, which we did see, like, the, the birds and everything. It was a, I think it was an eagle, but this is supposed to be a hawk. But either way, so, like, it's, it's a bird. It flies. All right, we have this Aztec Serpent God. We have the dragon, all right, which we did see the dragon earlier. Heavily connected with the dragon. Dragon being Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon. Um, dragon being Merlin's dragon, Arthur's dragon, so many different dragons there. Dragon be power, strength, good luck, prosperity, supernatural powers. Once again, we have the rainbow. Rainbow can be ascension. Rainbow can be the rainbow bridge. Rainbow can be so many good things to come. Aquarius. <coughs> all right. <coughs> Sorry. So have a sun beetle that you're connecting to. You have things opening up for you, Aquarius. And there's changes. So, that's all I have for you. Like I said, first link in the description down below. <coughs> for a personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop, go and go buy something. And they appreciate that. If you want to see more content, have a like, subscribe. Bye, guys.